that is a shame. Uh, Ian Lee Galloway. Mr Chair, during the uh, Health Select Committee's financial review of the Mental Health Commission, the Commission expressed its concern that DHB sometimes use the ring fence funding for mental health for purposes other than mental health. However, its greatest concern was the possible removal or reduction of the funding itself, and it acknowledged that the transfer of existing services into the ring fenced area without additional funds would cause problems. Against that, and against that backdrop, we have the removal of mental health targets from the government's priorities. And whilst the minister, whilst the minister has assured us that just because uh, a target is removed from the priorities, that fund that does not necessarily mean funding will not be available. We are already, yeah, yeah right. I can see the TUI billboard now. We are already seeing uh, the effects of this in real terms, on the ground, at the coalface of mental health uh, in, in our DHBs. A recent meeting of the Nelson Marlborough DHB with its community mental health providers, uh, a note was made that recent correspondence indicates that NMDHB is spending $1.8 million in over and above the expected ring fence levels. Therefore, total savings of $1.8 million needs to be made in mental health and addiction services for the 2009 and 2010 years, uh, and 2010 2011, to assist funding new government priorities, most of which Nelson Marlborough DHB has not been given additional funding for. That would be unfunded priorities. So that means that the, that the additional money over and above the ring fence funding for mental health has got to go. And that includes uh, no more workforce development rounds. This is from a government which has stated that it is absolutely focused on frontline services. Well, how do you develop frontline services? How do you recruit and retain people working in the mental health sector if you're not going to actually offer workforce development, if you're not going to provide a career development that actually makes the, the, the sector attractive and, want, and gets people in there for the long term to get to know the sector well so that they can, get, they can build relationships with their clients. How do you do that when the money is being stripped away when the sector is no longer a priority? As a result of these funding cuts and as a result of mental health no longer being a priority to the National Act Government, some providers, some community providers are already indicating that they may need to move away from DHB contracts. In order to provide the level of service that they feel comfortable with, they need to move away from DHB contracts and only provide services to fee-paying clients. That's user pays in the health system. Where have we seen that before? Where have we seen that before? Privatised health care. Privatised health care. Despite token concessions and lip service paid to their commitment to public health, the previous national government slashed spending in, in the public sector and introduced part payment for, for, and within the health reforms. The move was calculated to reduce demand for health care. The move was deliberately calculated to de reduce demand of health care. <laughs> People could not access the services that they needed, and hospitals were forced into becoming debt collectors. They had, they had tills at the front register, that's right, at the, at the front door. Who can forget, who can forget Tony Ryle and John Key saying the market will decide what GP fees and what people will get to pay their GP. The market will decide, they said, only when the media flushed them out and, f and asked them what wasn't in their health document. They did a quick U-turn on that, but we're already seeing the seeds being sown towards privatised health care and user pays, because these mental health services are not going to be able to provide the services that are necessary given the funding allocations that they are no longer going to receive because their, their sector is off the priority list. It's not important. It's, it's, not, it's, not what, it's not what the government thinks that the health system needs to be focusing on. Another area that the Select Committee uh, expressed some concern around was the paucity of services available to treat addiction in New Zealand, particularly for young people. And uh, the Select Committee asked the, uh, the Commission for its thoughts on this. And it noted 
that uh, addiction services was actually quite new, new to the blueprint and it was new to the mental health uh, sector. And that, as it stands... Mr. Chairman. Uh, 